son of who? You've been found. You are dead. Just like your mother. Poor mother. I don't know my mother, but if you're calling me a son of a bitch, you wouldn't be the first. Dante's back. Ah, uh, kind of. Since that initial reveal, much has been made of his new image, and especially that hairstyle. From what I understand, people who loved the previous games in the series think that this silly hairstyle isn't as good as his old silly hairstyle. My boss knows you. He wants to meet. Please? I helped you back there. I didn't ask for your help. Nobody likes change in a favourite game series, but it is worth delaying your judgement on how our protagonist looks and even acts. The basic mechanics of DMC feel very much similar to the old Devil May Cry games. We know all about you, Dante. I'm with an organisation called The Order. Heard of it? Something to do with that mass freak on the net? That's my boss. Wonderful. Can't wait. We're just receiving reports of a terrorist attack that's taking place at the Bellevue Pier in the Western District of the City. Police are asking the public to remain vigilant. Further terrorist attacks could take place anywhere, anytime, and when you least expect them. The plot revolves around a nefarious tycoon with links to the demonic underworld. He's counteracted by an underground organization run by Virgil. Both sides find Dante, and your adventure begins by showing us who Dante is and why he's living in a trailer on a carnival pier when we meet him. Just be careful. You can get rough in there. I like it rough. Is this really going to work? Obviously this is a pre-released look at the game's early levels, but it seems that there's a fairly deep combo system in there that seasoned Devil May Cry fans can take some time to get to know and to master. The triggers will instigate Devil and Angel modes, which add a new dimension to your combos and can also be used to help navigate the world. Angel mode allows Dante to pull himself towards objects or enemies, while Devil mode pulls certain objects or enemies towards him. They also slow down the combat and make use of a heavier scythe or faster cyclical weapons useful for taking out large groups of enemies, rather than just relying on Dante's faithful sword. This should all feel relatively familiar to hack and slash veterans. Fortunately, it's also just as much fun to play for someone like me, who has never really given much time to this style of game. My best tactic here is to learn what the buttons do and then try to mash them in some vague attempts at different sequences and hope that the bad guys have all fallen over when I'm done. On the easy difficult setting, this works. However, DMC has a range of difficulties going from one made for me right up to one made for people who have an almost savant-like degree of combo mastery. If you want to, you can make this game hard. Why not? He's bulletproof. Regardless of what we think to his new look, New Dante is a great character. He's not a typical hero, in fact he's kind of a dick, but that makes him more interesting than your standard do -gooder. Dante likes to party, lives irresponsibly and doesn't really care about anything except having a good time. He's arrogant and unflappable. He's a fan of the withering one-liners, which is quite a talent when you're surrounded by gigantic demons who are all trying to kill you. Okay then, let's fight. The gameplay is manic and fast paced with plenty of style in the delivery. That's something we'd expect from Ninja Theory, but in these early stages of the game it really does add a degree of charm that is attractive, even to those of us who weren't previously big fans of the series or the genre. DMC seems to be trying to retain what old fans really like about the way it plays, while presenting a nicely accessible package for newcomers or more casually interested parties. The fact that they've also taken the opportunity to begin reinventing its image shouldn't put you off. What I've played so far of this game is great fun regardless of its hairstyle. DMC Devil May Cry is out in the UK and US on the 15th of January and will be back with a full review around about its release date. Game over.